It's Saturday, November the 11th, and here is Aviation Weekly number 17. In this edition... Advanced Hybrid Aircraft's Patroller 3 airship concept. London City Airport celebrates 30 years of commercial flying. RAF Valley's future secure for next 25 years as restoration work is completed. And could Los Angeles have its own flying taxi service by 2020? Hello, my name is Ben Lovegrove and here is this week's roundup of aviation news from high altitude to below 400 feet. Each week I bring you selected stories in the worlds of airlines, flight training, aviation history, drones and UAV. Head over to redspan.com to find out how I can make marketing videos for your aviation business. So chocks away then. Advanced Hybrid Aircraft Limited has prepared the design of a novel and affordable hybrid aircraft named Petroler 3, or simply P3. This aircraft can fly low and slow, or alternatively can dash at higher airspeed and altitude in pursuit of a land or sea target. The purchase and maintenance costs are affordable, whilst the operating costs will be much less than those of current manned aircraft and rotorcraft. The energy-saving P3 can loiter at low power for as many as three days over a site of interest, be that a bay, border crossing or sea lane. At cruise power setting on three engines, the endurance of 30 hours is suitable for quickly scanning a border or coastline. For more information, visit patrolerairships.com. Next, on the 26th of October 1987, a flight carrying around 40 passengers touched down from Plymouth in East London on the peninsula between Royal Albert Dock and King George V Dock. It was the first commercial flight to land at London City Airport. The first arrival, operated by Bryman Airways, was followed by a Eurocity Express service from Brussels, both using de Havilland Dash 7 aircraft. So it's now 30 years since the airport's first commercial flights. To mark the milestone, the airport has published seven updated artists' impressions of the airport's exterior, illustrating what the transformed airport will look like after the £400 million City Airport Development Programme. A free exhibition is now open on Jubilee Place in Canary Wharf entitled London City Airport – 30 Years in Photographs. Next. The future of RAF Valley in Anglesey, Wales is now secure after restoration work on runways was completed in September. The station is primarily used for advanced fast jet training for pilots, and whilst the previous infrastructure was strong enough for the Hawk aircraft, it has been restored to support pilots training in the likes of tornadoes and typhoons. The existing runway was ageing, and so a £20 million contract was awarded to refurbish it as well as the link taxiways in addition to providing a new section airside perimeter road, new visual aids, aeronautical lighting and signage. It will extend the life of the runway by a further 25 years, demonstrating the UK's commitment to defence in Wales. And finally this week, in Aviation Weekly No. 6, we've reported on the development of the Volocopter design and speculated on the day when we'd all be able to hail an aero taxi. Well, Uber has a project that plans to put VTOL, vertical takeoff and landing, aircraft in the skies above Los Angeles by 2020. The white paper on this subject is entitled Fast Forwarding to a Future of On-Demand Urban Air Transportation and is available for download on the Uber website at uber.com forward slash info forward slash elevate. There are of course many challenges to overcome, safety, battery power, vehicle efficiency, to name a few. However, all innovations start like this, and given enough time and resources, all these obstacles can be removed. Within a few years, there really could be an affordable, efficient, low-altitude taxi service in major cities around the world. Imagine stepping out onto the pavement, not to get into a minicab and sit in a traffic jam, but to be lifted a few hundred feet into the air and reach your destination in minutes. The future is in the skies. 
That's all for this edition of Aviation Weekly, so subscribe to my channel for the next and to catch up on any you've missed. This was a Redspan Solutions production. Head over to redspan.com to find out how I can make marketing videos for your aviation business.